synonymous with burning CDs and DVDs, and quite a bit more, from video editing to transcoding, and you know what? Let's get Roger Chang on. He has been reviewing the product. I gotta ask, does anybody really, with all the free products out there, does anybody really need to buy burning software? Uh, honestly, no, you don't. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm if all late, you need I, to do is burn. If all you want to do is burn out a music CD, a data CD, or DVD, or stuff right. like that, no, you don't. Um, what Nero 10 uh, multimedia, uh, the Nero Multimedia Suite 10 does is incorporate several different packages, of which uh, Nero Burning ROM is one. Right. The other two is Nero Vision Extra and Nero Back It Up and Burn, which is uh, archiving, uh, safekeeping, storage utility to back up all your stuff. So I gotta ask, NeuroVision Extra, is that multimedia playback or is that editing software or what is that? That is editing. So for example, if I wanted to take all the shows I've recorded or take all the home movies I've made, I can edit it using their application. And I have to say it's a really darn good one. This is this I should point out is as, as someone who has, has been working with a and observing Roger for years, I've never actually seen him say anything nice about a consumer uh, video editing program. Um, typically consumer oriented video uh, editing products are kind of geared toward the very low, low end. In right. other words, people who've never done it before. So they have a very simplified walk you through it, hold your hand interface. Uh, Nero, uh, uh, Nero Vision Extra essentially assumes that you already know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give you all the features of say a Premiere Pro, uh, a Final Cut Pro, or even a Final Cut Express, but it gives you enough. So hey, if I wanted to slap together you know, the bachelor party uh, video I made, I, I can do that. Uh, if I wanted to do like one of those fan subs that people do on YouTube where you know, they take the anime and they put their own dialogue in it, which is really gross, um, <laughs> in it as well, you can do that. And the great thing, for example, you look at it, you get uh, multi-track editing, something you don't normally find in a package that's 70 bucks. Now, and that's just one component. And that's just one component. Secure disk technology, what is that? So they have the, this thing, a technology called secure disk technology, which allows you to lock down an optical disk. Will it work with any optical disc? Or no, any you, optical you can disc you can burner? use any media, uh, any optical media you want. Right. So a CD, Blu-ray, DVD. However, but you <laughs> need a drive that is secure disc uh, enabled, in order to write to it as well as read from it. So basically, what's the difference between that and just you know using regular encryption on the disc? Is this you, easier? <laughs> um, I guess it's considered to be more seamless, so you're not busy. You couldn't use it because you didn't have a compatible DVD drive, did you? <laughs> well, see, that's, that's, pretty, I, that's one of the things that, well, actually, that was kind of the annoying thing, is there are a lot of features in here that I probably wouldn't use, mm -hmm. uh, but it's mixed in with a lot of stuff I would use. Now, for example, you're talking about the secure uh, disk secure technology. Disk. They actually have something called disk span and disk merge, which allows you to spread across uh, multiple CDs, DVDs, or Blu-ray discs, a file that's too big to fit on just one. You know, it's pretty sensible. It's, it's not something I don't think everyone would use, right. but for situations like ours, I think it makes a lot more Or if you want to do one sense. crazy backup of your one terabyte drive, and you that want to too. throw DVDs I mean, it's, in it's, it all day long. And you know what? You know, optical discs are great because you can still store them in a safety deposit box or leave it at someone else's house, and not a hard drive that, oh, I have other stuff on it, I need to have it with me. There's also like a media playback component, Media Hub. Is it designed yes. for like lean back in the living room or is it designed for hunkering over your computer? It's still designed around a PC interface. And when you, it's essentially just a media organization uh, manager. And it does your uh, music, photos, uh, videos. And one of the plus sides I found is it supports the Windows Media Center uh, recording format. Oh, really? I mean, granted, it's only, I think it's an MPEG-2 or MPEG-4. It's, it's nothing difficult, but it's in a wrapper. And I can play it you know, straight off the bat. So if I That doesn't play in a lot of media playback devices. Uh, no, it software, doesn't. Whatever. And you know, I, can, I can watch my episode of Smallville that I recorded. This was like two months ago, I think, this episode of Smallville. <laughs> uh, and I can watch it just fine. Uh, it also includes uh, a simple photo editor. So mm -hmm. all these photos I have, I can do simple editing. Like if I wanted to crop, do red eye uh, reduction, you know, do those um, kind of effects that I guess people enjoy, like sepia or sharpen or blur and stuff like that. So obviously, okay, media management, media creation, media editing. Is there any batch processing and transcoding tools? Does it do hardware acceleration? So I have not found any batch tools that allow me to do a group of, of items like I would say in Adobe Photoshop. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does have transcoding tools. They're actually very useful, but they're very difficult to get to if all you want to do is say transfer from one right. uh, file format to another. 
uh, because it's all built around you're going to end up with a disc. So all the wizards and stuff are kind of designed that you're going to end up with a disc. At one point, yeah, you can select, you know, choose what format. Are you sure there's no there's no way to just copy a whole folder, or you just haven't found I it? I haven't yet? found it, and uh, it might be buried in there. But I was going through the uh, the manual, I couldn't find it. Uh, that said, it does allow you to do direct YouTube, mm -hmm. MySpace uh, uh, uploads. So if you want a video clip, I can click publish, and then I can say upload, and then I can choose where I want to upload it to uh, as soon as it comes up. Hmm. And actually, this is the one annoying thing, is that you'll notice that a, a lot of these interface buttons aren't exactly uniform across all the products, so it's kind of jarring when you bounce around between uh, separate applications. So one last thing before we go, does it do hardware acceleration for offloading the CPU to the GPU and transcoding for yes, it supports Yes, it supports NVIDIA's CUDA, so okay. that means if you have an NVIDIA card that has CUDA support in it, uh, the transcoding application will take uh, advantage of it and speed up by offloading <laughs> off your CPU onto take the video card. considerably less time. What's the bottom line? Bottom line, for 70 bucks, I think it's a great buy if you don't have all these products. So if you have all of them and you just want the video editor, you can buy it separately. Oh, really? Uh, because cool. it's part of Nero Video Extras. But if you want everything, including the, it has a really solid backup uh, tool. You know, 70 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So that's a thumbs up. Thumbs up.